The question in this video is uh, can a very old transistor, uh, especially a germanium transistor, out of the 1960s work properly in an amplifier circuit? Well, that's here. This is the test circuit. Uh, the germanium transistors of these days, those days, that's what I mean, the 1960s, 1970s, uh, more or less always had a red dot and you can see it here and the red dot is in general the collector. Of course, um, PMP transistor must be collected connected in a certain way, in a reversed way compared to a NPN transistor, be it silicon or germanium, etc. etc. So here we have the minus, here we have the PMP transistor, here we have the positive and of course the question is where has the ground to be connected. Of course you can flip the circuit connect the ground. Uh, anyway, that's not in fact not what the whole video is about. The question is uh, can such an old uh, germanium transistor, say the OC13, that's a European type number, work properly now in 2022. So a long time ago this transistor was made, very long time ago. And now I'm testing it and uh, the whole setup is the setup of, a, of an audio amplifier. And it still works very properly. So this is the power supply. It's approximately on 12 volts here and uh, we send in an audio signal via the sine wave generator, approximately a thousand hertz and approximately uh, 500 millivolts. And on the scope we can surely see that this very old transistor of say 1962 works properly. The amplification is say a one volt on the scale so one two three that's four volts while the input signal is approximately 500 millivolts. So uh, surely a good amplification and we can say set the amplification even to a higher level. Anyway, talking about germanium transistors, they are of course uh, nowadays 2021 completely old school. Uh, sometimes you can find can find uh, them on eBay or whatever. And I have in the past salvaged many of them. And here you can see say the bunch of germanium transistors that I have uh, say gathered in the past. They were often used, by the way, in early uh, computer circuits. Computer circuits of the 1950s, uh, the early 1960s, had in many cases uh, flip-flop circuits and all kinds of other, uh, say, uh, computer circuits digits, dividers, etc, etc, that were made with germanium transistors. 
Though, of course, uh, their properties were in a certain way not ideal. For instance, the uh, sensitivity to heat, etc., etc. Anyway, it all worked properly, but of course, uh, after a certain time, these uh, computers were, say, replaced by uh, other computer circuits, circuits that worked uh, better. Anyway, so this is for instance the ASZ21, that's the transistor here, it's a typical switch, germanium switch diode, also this transistor, the CV5980, is comparable to the OC206 is a, a more or less uh, switch diode and you can see here that the maximum switch frequency for that uh, germanium transistor was uh, 850 kilo cycles but this ASZ21 had a switch frequency of approximately 300 mega cycles and that's important to tell, certain uh, germanium transistors, especially the high frequency types, were very, very good uh, in, say, oscillator circuits, circuits, switch circuits, and then especially on the higher frequencies, um, say, around 100 megahertz or 300 megahertz, and uh, well, that has had everything to do with the property that the uh, voltage on the barrier layer of a germanium transistor is very low. Say between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 uh, volts. That gives very good properties for making oscillators, uh, uh, high frequency switch circuits, etc, etc. Of course, this is all completely obsolete now. But anyway, uh, we can take profit out of these good properties. So, uh, back to the circuit. A kind of simple audio amplifier made with the OC13 uh, uh, germanium transistor of the 1960s. Uh, there's a black layer here because that was done by purpose because when a transistor is uh, receiving light on its collector or emitter or base uh, that has a uh, substantial effect on the resistance going between the collector and the emitter and perhaps also between the base and the emitter and the base and the collector. So that transistor was by purpose completely lacquered with a black paint. So that no uh, say light could enter the inner parts of the transistor. Back to the circuit, it works properly, still works properly, and there, there say, are uh, many discussions on the World Wide Web if such a um, transistor circuit, germanium transistor circuit, has another sound compared to a silicon transistor circuit well. I'm not very convinced about it, but on the other hand, uh, I have some doubts about criticism, and it could be, really, it could be that such a germanium uh, transistor stage sounds somewhat better compared to the uh, silicon one transistor amplifier stage. I'm not convinced uh, 
problem is that the say the tests, oscilloscope views, etc., etc., don't show anything, anything different uh, compared uh, germanium to silicon. But well, I leave it to uh, your own experiments. And of course, such an O say certain is very, very obsolete. Uh, well, if it's possible to get them, use a AC125 or an AC188 when you can find them, of course. Their amplification is in general not very high, and then I mean the uh, uh, current amplification, but these are perhaps transistors uh, that you can still find on the World Wide Web or whatever, and also other uh, uh, germanium transistors can do the job. Most important fact is the uh, amplification factor. It must be approximately, say, 50. That's a good value. 50 is a good value. That's kind of minimum value to make such a audio amplifier. Uh, this is in fact an audio amplifier work.